Well, not, what changed is that Eck, Eck got hurt, had to go back for however long, five minutes. Hartsey got hurt, had to go back for five minutes. We had Addison playing forward. Um, that was the difference. We had we had a full, almost full lineup, obviously, in the third period, and we saw our team. In the second period, we did not. We lost guys for a substantial amount. I Shaw got cut as well. Um, so we had lost three players. We were already playing with 11. So it... Uh, it just took our rhythm out. Obviously, I think what we have three shots, and then we had 25 shots or 24. We saw our team in the third period. Unfortunately, the puck didn't want to go in the net. We did uh, real good things in the third period um, to try to get back into that hockey game, um, and it just didn't work out tonight. Have you guys figured out what you're going to do with Greenway now with his illness, or is he going to travel? Or? Greenway is just not available to us tonight. That's what I'm saying. Get him not there and Zuccarello to begin with, just, I mean, to have a shorthanded mm -hmm. offense, this is indicative of that. As the, yeah, we were just mentioning, yeah, yeah, we were just mentioning how, you know, <laughs> hey, we talked about a week ago, you've got four lines rolling real good, right? We like that. That's who we are, 6D, and uh, and then just lose a couple guys and boom. But you gotta you gotta grind through that, right? Um, we have to find ways to, uh, you know, when we don't have our perfect setup for us as uh, Minnesota Wild, we we gotta find ways to uh, you know to, to win hockey games. And although we did in the third and even the first, um, did a lot of good things. You know, we get disrupted in the second, but we have to find a way to uh, to win a hockey game like that, grind it out, and uh, we didn't tonight. When you did you know that uh, Greenway wasn't available? When did you know Greenway wasn't? We knew he wasn't available before the game, just before the game, probably um, just before the meeting. Do you worry about illness spreading, like Gus and not Greenway? We're always worried about illness, right? I mean, we're, we're close-knit group sports in general we're sitting shoulder to shoulder obviously um close in the dressing room we're a close group we eat together we bus together we plane together so yeah of course and we've been all through um, covid and whatever else sicknesses it goes through pretty quickly but um but that isn't why we lost the game tonight i think about gus today seems like he played pretty well on the first game <laughs> he's really good Really good. I mean, we did a lot of good things in front of them too. I don't know what the chances were, but I don't think they were uh, lopsided. I mean, I don't remember, you know, they had some substantial time in our zone. We did in theirs, and, um, you know, might be probably a pretty even game. Gus, Gus was good. How do you talk about the weekend? Then you got away from your defensive structure in Buffalo, but looked like more of a reset today, but then personnel issues sting the offense so how like what's your message going into this road trip to kind of recalibrate after two rare losses in a row you know well yeah we liked our game today right like uh, defensively for sure offensively we couldn't freaking score right I mean you even look at the at the end the the, the pucks that we threw at the net were ping-ponging all over the place they didn't find their way in, not even into the net they didn't find their way onto the net and normally they do we, uh, we got enough pucks there when you get 20-some shots, plus the ones that didn't get there. I don't know how many attempts we had at the net. So uh, I'm not worried about that. I, I, we liked our defensive structure tonight. We liked our commitment um, defensively. We did, uh, we did a lot of good things. We clearly didn't score a goal.